Good morning to all present here. I'm Gayatri and I'm from the Base College of Technology. Uh, today we're going to discuss about the topic Hospital Waste Management which comes under 4th year 7th semester. Okay, before we go to discuss about this topic, we should know why we have to aware about this topic. Uh, it's nothing but as we all know, uh, healthcare is one of the most important thing the people needed. But it is not going good and some major disadvantages still exist. One of the major disadvantages is improper disposal of waste stages from hospital. Okay, let's uh, overview, uh, let's see the overview of hospital waste management. Uh, the objective of this is to protect the people against injury and potentially fatal infections. Uh, to avoid this, some wastages are there. Uh, the category of the wastages are infectious waste. The infectious waste is nothing but the waste, waste suspected to contain pathogens. Example, laboratory culture, uh, waste from isolation wards, tissues, material and uh, equipments that have been in contact with infected persons. And next one is pathological waste. It is nothing but a human tissues or fluid, example, body part, blood or other body fluids, glass. And next one is sharps. It means uh, needle infusion sets, scalps, knives, blades and broken glasses. And next to that is genotoxic waste. Uh, it is the waste containing substance with genotoxic property, example waste containing cytostatic drugs and genotoxic chemicals. And next one is chemical waste. Uh, it is the waste containing chemical substances, example uh, laboratory reagent and disinfectant that are expired on no longer needed solvents and next to this we are seeing waste with high content of heavy metals it's nothing but uh, the batteries that are used in hospital or broken thermometer blood pressure gauges etc and uh, next to that we see pressurized container uh, which is mean gas cylinder and uh, lastly radioactive waste uh, it means the waste containing radioactive substances, example unused liquid from radiotherapy or laboratory research contained glassware or uh, absorbent papers, urine and etc etc. And uh, all these wastes are there but what is the source of this healthcare waste? And uh, it's nothing but we can get from government hospital, private hospital, uh, nursing homes etc like mortuaries, blood banks and etc etc. This is the source where we obtain the waste from healthcare and next to that health hazards of um, healthcare based generations. It means the hazard is some of the hazard is uh, which cause injury, it contains infectious agent and it contains toxic, it contains sharps, genotoxic and radioactive things. 80% of general healthcare waste which may be dealt with normal domestic and urban waste management system and that 50 percentages are pathological infectious waste and 1 percentage are sharp waste and 3 percentage are chemical and paramogological waste and next to that in beyond this the treatment and disposal technology is very very important in that first we will see incinerations incineration is a high temperature dry oxidation process that reduces organic and combustible wastes to inorganic combustible matter and result in very significant reductions of waste and uh, volume and weights. The process is usually selected to treat wastes that cannot be recycled, re reused or disposed of in landfill site. And next to that we will see uh, wet and dry thermal treatments. Uh, in that two things are there. First one is wet thermal treatment. Uh, in wet thermal treatment, uh, it is based on an exposure of shredded infectious waste to high temperature and high pressurized steam and is similar to autoclave sterilization process. And next to that it is a screw free technology. It is basis of non burn dry thermal disinfection process in which a waste is shredded and heated in a rotating auger. Next to that, we will see microwave radiations. My, uh, mostly, microorganisms are destroyed by the action of microwave frequency of about uh, 2450 MHz to a wavelength of 12.24 cm. The water contained with the waste is rapidly heated by the microwave and infectious components are destroyed by heat conductions. 
and uh, the next treatment is a land disposal so in that two things are there first one is municipal displacement disposal sites and second one is sanitary landfills so first one is municipal disposal sites in that the healthcare waste should not be deposited on around open dumps that is cough the either peoples or animals coming into contact with infectious pathogens is obvious and last one is in irritations in the in irritations it involves mixing waste with cement and other substance before disposal in order to minimize the risk of toxic substance contained in the waste migrated into the surface uh, waste or ground water so by using this method we can easily dispose the waste and uh, we can save the people from infections and some injuries uh, thank you